Okay, so let's solve this problem. So a rectangle of area 15 centimeters squared is inscribed in a circle with diameter 10 centimeter. So what is the dimension of the rectangle? So given this figure, and since this one is a rectangle with area, so formula for the area of a rectangle, that's length times the width. Since area is 15 centimeters squared, so therefore this area is 15, then equals length times the width. So this one is equation number 1. Then to find the second equation from the given diameter, so in the figure, this one is the diameter, then we have this the width and the length, so we're forming a right triangle. Since right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. And formula for the Pythagorean theorem, that's C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So C is the hypotenuse, that's the longest side, or the side opposite to this, 90 degrees. So therefore, on this given, this one is C, and for A and B, any of this side, so we can have L as A and W as B. Then substitute now the values to this formula. Since C is 10, so therefore C squared is 10 squared, then equals A, that's L, so this one is L squared, then plus B, B is W, so plus W squared. Then simplify, so 10 squared, this one is 100, then equals L squared plus W squared. So this one is equation number 2. Then we need to combine now these two equations. So the first equation, that's 15 equals length times the width and for the second equation that's 100 equals L squared plus W squared so in this case we're going to use substitution method so we need to isolate one variable so from this equation we're going to isolate W so we need to divide both sides by L so divide by L, so therefore W is equal to 15 over L. So we need to substitute this 15 over L to this W. So this equation becomes 100 equals L squared plus, since W equals 15 over L, so therefore this W squared becomes 15 over L then to the power 2 then simplify so we have now 100 equals L squared in plus so distribute this exponent so 15 squared this one is 2 to 5 then over distribute this exponent that's L squared so to simplify this equation, since this equation contains a fraction, so we need to multiply this whole equation by this denominator, so times L squared, then distribute, so we have now 100 L squared, then equals, that's L to the power 4, then plus, so on this case, cancel, L to the power 2, so that's 2, 2, 5. Then equate this equation to 0, so we just need to transpose this 100 L squared to the right. So we have now L to the power 4 minus 100 L squared, then plus 2, 2, 5, then equals 0. Since we cannot solve this equation using factoring, so we're going to use a quadratic formula. 
So we need to find first the value of A. So that's the coefficient of the leading term. Since we have this one, so therefore A is equal to 1. Then for B, so B, that's negative 100. And for C, that's the constant, that's 225. So using the quadratic formula, so we have negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Since this one is L to the power 4, so therefore this one is L to the power 2. Then substitute now the values to find the solutions. So we have L to the power 2 equals negative B and B is negative 100. So negative 100 then plus minus square root of B squared. So B is negative 100 then to the power 2. Then minus 4 times A. A is 1 times C. C is 225, then all over 2 times A or times 1. Then simplify, so we have now L squared is equal to negative times negative. This one is positive 100, then plus minus square root of this negative 100 to the power 2. This one is positive 10,000. Then this negative 4 times 1 times 2, 2, 5. So that's negative 900. So minus 900 then over this 2 times 1, that's 2. Then simplify. So we have now 100 plus minus square root of this 10,000 minus 900. That's 9,100, then over 2. Then simplify, so we need to separate this plus and minus to find these solutions. So L squared is equal to 100. Start with positive, so plus square root of 9,100, then over 2. And the other one, L squared is equal to 100, then the negative, so minus square root of 9,100, then over 2. Then simplify to solve for L. So we have L squared equals, so we have 100 plus square root of 9,100, so equals, then divide by 2. That's 97.70. So L squared is 97.70. Then take the square root to solve for L. So square root of 97.70. That's 9.88. So this one is 9.88. And the other one, so we have L squared equals... So this 100, then minus square root of 9,100 equals, then divide by 2, that's 2.30. So this one is 2.30, then take the square root to solve for L. So square root of 2.30 that's 1.52. So this one is 1.52. So therefore, the dimension of the rectangle inscribed in a circle, we have 9.88 centimeters by 1.52 centimeter or 1.52 centimeter by 9.88 centimeters. So this is the final answer.